Gloria. I want you remembered because one day the sun will rise in a new world with new people who will celebrate things not known to us. So I write this poem so that they will read and know how you freed me from me when seconds and hours and days were just the little things that ate away at the person I was. I want you remembered as a loving wife, sister, cousin, aunt, and daughter, and not an urban legend or martyr. Not as an idol or wizard who sometimes was able to walk on water. I want them to know that you were flawed, lovely, and amazing all at the same time. I want them to know that with every climb and every fall, you were all the possibility we needed as truth and our single proof that our families would not be left behind. They will know that once your feet had tread this land, your goal was to understand and behold lessons of oppression spoken by our ancestors. This poem will tell them of every road guided by the things told to me by you. So let this poem, whenever others wonder how I became free, to the point of degree recognition for people like me who have traveled this road alone and so far away from what others have called home, I have found shelter in you. When the impossible became an obstacle and others thought to think that all you did was put a smile on faces like me and made lives like mine worthwhile and worth living, the only argument worth forgiving was the one I had with you. Let them read this poem so that they know as I shift, change, and roll with the punches. It was breakfast, dinner, and occasional brunches that kept my sanity in place. You will forever fill a space in me that's open to the critiques and mystiques of our friendship, a kinship that fiction could not con conjure. And if people like them often wonder or seldom ponder what creates the little wonder I've been able to give into this world, let them read this poem and let them remember you, Gloria, she who gave people a chance to never have to whisper again, for our existence is amplified. When the things that amaze us now become things of the past, this poem will stand, this poem will endure. And if God has left text as history so that your greatness is not a complete mystery, let them read this poem. Let them read it backwards and forwards and time and time again. Let it be your testimony for all the cultures who tell and pass down stories in search of glory of engaged love. Let them all read this poem, Gloria. Thank you.